Alright, not so long of a video, but this whole video is a standoff. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna explain the video at the beginning and then go into news stories. So, yes, this video is just clearing out this courtyard and getting through the courtyard pretty much. So that's about it. Oh, so they're coming out with a Jack the Ripper game. This is a pretty long story. Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper, coming soon on the Xbox 360 in Europe. Confront the prostitute killer. We are pleased to announce that the adventure game Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper will be available in Europe this month on the Xbox 360 video game and entertainment system from Microsoft. To celebrate this, we are also pleased to unveil a new series of images of this great investigation. Something tells me this game is going to be really, really bad. Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper allows you to take the role of one of the most popular detectives of all time in 1888 London and a series of particularly, particularly horrible murders takes place in the Whitechapel district of the East End of London where the murdered prostitutes' bodies are found. So, I, something tells me that game is going to be god awful. I'm not going to read the whole story. Oh, a non gaming related news story. If you go to the website, oh, let me go to the website, hold up. The website's called thebeatlesneverbrokeup.com. And this is quite a weird story. Believe it or not, I don't know what to think. Let's see. The following is an actual account of my experiences as of recently. Because of the nature of what happened, I must remain anonymous until I feel it is safe to reveal my name. But for now, you can f refer to me as James Richards. So, from what I've read, the guy is says, Alright, I'm going to go walk my dog. He goes to walk his dog, and... Well, let me read the story. It will probably do it better. On September 9th, 2009, I experienced something that I am still having trouble believing happened to me. I came into the possession of a cassette tape containing a Beatles album that was never released. In fact, not only was it never released, but it was recorded many years after they broke up, and he's not talking about Clad 2. Now this is where the story becomes slightly more unbelievable, and it is almost embarrassing to attempt to explain the incident for you, to you for fear of viewing me as completely absurd. I must assure you I am not insane or on drugs, and hopefully the audio from this tape will be enough proof that there is more than we can think out there. Now, before I continue, this is me talking, not the story. The website actually has 11 tracks of from the tape, and you can actually listen to the track, it's called Everyday Chemistry, and it actually does sound like the Beatles. So, I have no idea what to think of this, but continuing. I live in Livermore, California, but on September 9th, I was driving home from Turlock after visiting a friend for a few days. I had my dog with me, and I didn't have any plans for the day, so I decided to take a drive through a place called Del Puerto Canyon, just west of Turlock. There's a scenic road that is a fun drive and actually goes through Livermore, and I hadn't taken a cruise through it in a mile, so I thought it would be a nice way home. It was about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. A ways into the canyon, my dog started acting like she needed to use the restroom, so I pulled over for the first available parking area to the side of the road and let her out while it stretched. At first I didn't notice, but then I heard barking from about 30 yards away. My dog was chasing a rabbit. Now my dog is a pretty good dog, but if she's chasing something, yeah, whatever. So, they already had a 40 yard head start, so I had to really book it. The uneven ground and soft dirt patches made it difficult to run and it wasn't very far in the chase that I had stepped in a rabbit hole, fell and knocked myself unconscious. And then, this is a really long story so I'm going to summarize it, or try to at least. What happened was, the guy woke up in some guy's house that was right near where he passed out and from what the guy could tell, before he passed out, there was no houses around. So, the guy wakes up and there's another guy in the house and... He, the guy in the house tells him okay. that he's in an alternate universe where the Beatles never broke up. Now, the universe isn't revolving around the Beatles and they were breaking up, but they never broke up in that universe. Which is 
the universe where he got this tape and the guy bandaged him up, said he was bleeding and all that all right, garbage. Just like the fire escape. You can read the full story at the Beatles Never Broke Up dot com. And what happened was there, kick it down. apparently the guy had some machine oh. that let him step into an oh, alternate no. universe that he wasn't supposed to let anybody see. Literally. But he oh. saw that the guy needed help, so he went to help him and took him to the universe. His dog was there, he took care of his dog, and he could see outside like right where he fell, and the guy told him how the Beatles never broke up, and that he has a mixtape of one of their latest albums called Everyday Chemistry. So essentially, it's an alternate universe. So, where he brought a tape back that was never released. You can listen to the tape online, and tell me what you think of it. See if you think it's real or not. I don't know what to think of it. But he has a mixtape of the Beatles' unreleased album called The Beatles Never Broke Up. Or the album's called Everyday Chemistry. So go listen to it and let me know what you think. Because it is truly weird. I don't necessarily believe it, but... I... I don't believe everything I see on the internet, but I can't really, I don't know what to think of this story. I don't know how to piece it together. Where would this guy get an unreleased album of the Beatles? Well, all you gotta do is clear this room out and you'll be a golden for this level, so I'll see you guys next level. Come on, follow me. Oh. Up there. That must be where they're holding Schaefer. Ah, oh, crap. Get down. <laughs> 